In this problem, we're told that these six apples represent 30% of all of the apples. And the question is, how many apples would there be in 100%? Kind of like, if this is 30% of the barrel, how many apples would be in the entire barrel? There's a lot of ways to solve this problem, and I'll show a couple of them, I suppose. Um, first off, you could say, well, if those six apples represent 30%, that means another six apples represents another 30%, and another six apples represents another 30%. So, so total, we have 18 apples and 90%, but we don't want 90%, we want 100%. And it's pretty easy to see that, well, two apples, two apples, two apples equals a total of 30%. So that means two apples equals 10%. So, so far we have 30, 30, and 30 for a total of 90%. We need 10% more, which means, as we've learned, we only need two more apples. So six apples equals 30%, six apples equals 30%, six apples apples equal another 30%, and finally two apples equal 10%. So we learn that 20 apples is equal to 100%. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to use proportions. And here's what we could say. We could say, well, six apples equals 30%. And the question is, how many apples equals 100%? So now we can solve this just like a proportion problem. And I don't see a really nice, handy uh, vertical relationship, but I do see a nice horizontal relationship. I can see that well, 6 times 5 equals 30. So something times 5 has to equal 100. And the way we figure out what that is, is we could divide 100 divided by 5. And we know that 100 divided by 5 is 20. So once again, the answer is 20 apples. And the last method we could look at is we could say, well, if, so we've got this method and we've got this method over here. So the third method that I can show you really quickly is, well, if six apples six apples equals 30 percent. You can do a little bit of division to figure out that one apple is equal to five percent. But we don't want five percent. We want how many apples are in a hundred percent. So we can do five times twenty which equals 100%. So 1 times 20 is equal to 20 apples. So you've got three different ways to solve this one problem. 